Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's video, we'll be showing triggers in A360. You must be wondering, we have already created video on triggers, but this is an update to the previous video. Here we will be discussing three new triggers that had been added in the latest version of Automation Anywhere 360 platform. So those are process trigger, service trigger and window trigger. If you want to check email, file, hotkey and interface triggers, you may check out the video, uh, our previous video, the link will be in I button. So let's get started. So first we will see process trigger. So I have just drag and drop this process trigger here. And what does this um, gives you like process trigger can be executed like it helps your bot to execute on basis of some process. So if you have some processes running on your runner machine, you can decide your bot execution based on that. We will see that in action here in the right hand side. You can see the configuration settings. We, we need to get process name so you can click refresh. The platform will get you all the current processes for you. You can select one. We'll go with calculator application process. So calculator.exe. So I want to trigger my bot once the calculator process is started, right? And I have just saved it. Run this bot with triggers. So the bot is listening for the trigger. As soon as I click or I open the calculator application, it should deploy. So as you can see, the bot is deploying and it will execute and print the message box that we have coded, right? It's a process trigger and then we can close it. So this, this was about process trigger. Similarly, we have service trigger. Let's drag and drop the service trigger. So as we configured the process, this is for services. So if you have any services running or uh, like whatever criteria you want to specify for your service, start, stop, resume, pause, is running or has stop, is paused. So that you can define. We will go with, uh, let's say any of the uh, app readiness. So app readiness is a service. We'll, we'll check for that in this demo. And in services tab, I'll check for app readiness. Here is my app readiness service that is currently stopped. So as soon as this service is started, I want this bot to be triggered. So we'll click here when this application starts, just trigger the logic, the bot logic. Okay. So here let's modify this and this is now service trigger. Okay. And, and the, I've written here comment for the business logic because here we are just demonstrating the use use case like how you can use that trigger and here it will be a business logic as per your requirement. So I'm running this bot with trigger. Remember as soon as we start that service, the bot should uh, be executed. Currently it's in listening for trigger state and I'm just starting this service and you can see the bot is deploying and we got the message service trigger. I'll just stop it and it's not needed anymore. Okay. And then third type of service we have is window trigger. Uh, drag and drop that window server, uh, serve, uh, sorry, window trigger. And I will just disable this one. And in window trigger is for windows, like open window. You have a window application, for example, uh, let's, let me select temp. So here you can see I have downloads or temp two two of the windows open. So, I'll once I click or close this window, I want this bot to be executed. So in that case, you can select an action from here window action on opening of that window or on closing of that window, you can perform this bot execution. So I'll choose close. And here here you can give regex wildcard characters, right for the name of the window title. And this, this assigned to is a, like for a record variable, you can store uh, this information of the, about the processes or about the services in the previous uh, triggers we have seen. You can store that information in a record variable. It's for that. Okay, let's save this. Let's change the message to Windows trigger. 
and let's run the bot with triggers so now as soon as i close this temp window our bot should execute right it's currently in listening for trigger state let me close this window and you can see the bot is deploying and it's executed so it's a window trigger so these three triggers were the addition to our uh, already existing four triggers so hope you like the video please hit the subscribe button and thank you for listening